Welcome back to another Pirate Talk. Today I'm here with the two PC Athletic Trainers. How are you two today? We're pretty good. It's good. Yeah. All right. All right, so my first question is, uh, where are you guys from? I am originally from Kansas City, uh, born and raised. I went to Ray, or I went to Raytown South High School, and then uh, after that moved up here, uh, went to Park University down in Parkville, and then i kind of been up here ever since. I was raised in Columbia, Missouri, just down the road. Uh, I attended Hickman High School. I did my undergrad and master's degree at Mizzou. I moved up here in 2018 to be a graduate assistant at Jewel, and after that, after the whole COVID thing, I ended up here at Platte County. That's awesome. So why did you guys want to become an athletic trainer? Um, so I originally went to school for something else. I did a year at a different college, decided I hated that, and then switched to Mizzou. I knew what an athletic trainer was. I knew that you had to take like two like prereq classes before you could get into the program, and I really loved those classes, so I knew it was for me. Uh, for me, it was something I kind of just fell into. Um, initially, I was gonna, I was thinking physical therapy, and I was doing college visits um, to go wrestle in college. And every time I go to a college visit, they just ask what I wanted to major in, and I said physical therapy. But that's a graduate degree, um, so they were just like, "Oh, you'll just do our like sports medicine program and like major in athletic training." So that's kind of just what I figured. Um, I was going to do is just go do that and then go to PT school. Uh, but then once I got into it, I kind of liked it and didn't know if I want to be stuck in an office all day, every day working with old people. <laughs> so I decided to stick with athletic training. So what's your favorite part of the job? Uh, favorite part of the job. Uh, every day is completely different. Nothing's the same. Every day we show up, there's a different schedule. Something else is walking in the door and uh, it's not, it's not routine. Uh, my favorite part is definitely building all the relationships with my athletes. Uh, just It makes the day fun. It's nice to get to know you all, especially like at the high school and middle school level where I kind of get to watch you all grow up and go through everything and see all of your accomplishments and then graduate and go to college. So what's the least favorite part about the job? Uh, my least favorite part is for sure anytime I have to end someone's season or do something like that. That's always a really rough day, even if you know the kid is like, just a sophomore and has to come back, still telling someone their season's done is probably the hardest part. My least favorite uh, part of the job is uh, the fact that I ha my schedule is exactly opposite of everybody else that I know. Um, so everybody, all my friends, like family, everybody works a normal shift. I work afternoon and evenings. So Friday nights all through football season are no more. Um, stuff like that. So it's the, the uh, work in a schedule opposite of the normal world. If you were not an athletic trainer, what would you want to be? Uh, if I was not an athletic trainer, um, if I was going back to school again to do that again, I probably would go to uh, chiropractic school right after athletic training. Um, however, when I was coming up on graduation, I did apply to the Alaskan State Troopers. So that was also an option uh, as well. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, I think if I were to not be an athletic trainer, I probably would have done something in agriculture, like go to vet school or something like that. But instead, here I am. All right, so one last question I have for you guys is, um, what are three things you'd bring to a deserted island? Okay, three things. I'm definitely not trying to survive on this island, so I would for sure bring a book for something to do, because I assume there's no service. <laughs> I would definitely probably bring something to have some sort of music, just so that it's not so quiet all the time. And then, since I'm just writing it out, definitely a nice beach chair, just to get things squared away. I am going to bring my bow, first and foremost. Uh, next, I will bring my guitar. And finally, something practical like rope or fire starter, something like that. I think you might survive a little longer on the island. Yeah, probably so. I'm a survivor. All right, perfect. Well, thank you, guys. That's yeah, awesome. no problem. Yep.